Well, we have a local woman just won big on national TV, and she did it by hitting the sweet spot. We have Deva Williamson. She just won this season's Candyland on Food Network. Thank you so much for joining us, and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Kim. Well, first, tell us what it was like to walk away with this title. Oh, my goodness. You know, it's it's silly for me to like actually think that I did it because I was so nervous about competing in general. I am um, very to myself and um, competing is something that is outside of something that I would really do. And so I did it just to have fun and then I won. <laughs> <laughs> so like it's it's still surreal to say that that's what happened but um it it was a lot of fun now many of these challenges are timed you have all these people looking at you uh handheld cameras that are looking over your shoulder how did you deal with the pressure oh my goodness well i have to give credit to my teammates um, they really just encouraged me and, um, you know, they followed up wherever I was like, oh, I can't really handle that. <laughs> and we were just a great, um, you know, the way that we fit together was just perfect. So off camera in your own, uh, in, in your own work, cause I see you're in your lab right now. What is your specialty? <sighs> off camera. I really love to work with buttercream and putting flavors together. Um, flavors, when I imagine them, they are like a dream and I bring them to life. <laughs> and then I go ahead and shoot them. So this is actually my studio space okay. and I have colors around and it just a little bit for inspiration. And then um, after I make my cakes, then I'll go ahead and shoot them. You, so, so that's so what I do. <laughs> so you're a photographer too. So, okay, so for all of us who Instagram foodies out there, what is the best way? Because I know I can never, ever make any of my treats like yours. So what is the best way to shoot my food so that it looks like yours? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you, well, there's two things. <laughs> you don't, if you want to go for just a picture, you don't have to make it from scratch. Oh. Like, if that's not your strong suit, then okay. don't force yourself to do something that you're not comfortable with. Okay. So, um, yeah, if, if you want to do something quick, like pop a box mix and then just do that and take a picture, you know, then that's great. Um, another thing is like, you can use fake food. <laughs> <laughs> well, we saw you live on television, so we know that you don't do anything fake. Uh, where can we find your treats here in St. Louis? Um, well, so I actually don't sell my treats. Um, no. I, I know. No. <laughs> I love teaching people how to create the treats that I do um, by teaching them how to, um, you know, understand recipes and put them together themselves. And I also teach people how to shoot them. But the thing about it is I actually don't have a sweet tooth. Mm -hmm. So after I shoot my cakes, I generally don't eat them and I give them away. And wow. um, I like, um, I get a lot of emails, and so, you know, if, if it's like I got an email when I have a cake done, then maybe you're the lucky person who gets a cake. <laughs> but it brings me <laughs> much more joy to be able to give my cake away and just make somebody's day than it does to um, sell, it. sell it. I can so. tell you, my dad is a baker. He absolutely loves to bake, so I'll make sure to drive him to your website. We will have the link on fox2now.com. David Williamson, congratulations, and thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.